So, just another unboxing today. Um, this is all stuff I picked up from my post office box. I usually only check it once a week. I think I left it two weeks without checking it. So, that's why there's a slightly more massive pile than usual. Although I usually have big piles anyway, so it um, doesn't really make a difference. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. If you hear any squeaky noises in the background, that's my dog playing with his chew toy. Sorry if it's annoying. Um, so let me go ahead and start off with the box since that's the only boxed item. Most of these I did um, pre-cut just to get things to move a little bit more quick. So most of these items are off of Amazon. Um, let me see here. Of course these are all the same seller which is why they're all in the same box. It's the first one. Embrace of the Vampire, which I know really isn't such a great movie, but every now and again it's just always fun watching a cruddy movie. Plus, Alyssa Milano has a great rack. Burn Notice. Um, I have all of the TV series, I just kind of wanted to finish off the set. Plus, uh, most of you who know me pretty much already know that I'm pretty nuts over uh, Bruce Campbell, so. And of course, Point of No Return. I love this one. Yes, I have seen the original La Femme Nikita. Um, this one is pretty much an almost exact copy, um, scene per scene in some situations, but I still think it's a great movie. Um, of course, this is the first one I ever saw. I saw this one as a kid in theater, so I have a lot more familiarity with this one. And then moving over to the envelopes, this first one, this is just a random item I got off of eBay. Um, but if you do get this reference, then you're just totally awesome. And we packed that up fairly well. So I do see just a few nicks from use. Obviously this is old, but this is a vintage 1978 belt buckle. And uh, like I said, if you get that reference, you are just totally awesome. Uh, this next one is just super bundled up. It's like opening a gift. And there we go. Round two of Alyssa Milano. Um, Poison Ivy 2. I like the first two Poison Ivy movies. The third one was Garbage. I mean, gr granted, if you're just interested in a stroke fest, it's not a bad movie. There's just no story. Um, and I never bothered with the uh, fourth one. But uh, the first two I just really enjoy. And next one, this is... Oh, that's the one I had been waiting for last video. I'm not too happy about that ugly sticker. It didn't come off with any problems. I hate these little snappy cases and the box really isn't in too bad a condition, but what I'm thinking is I'll probably just um I'll probably just reprint another cover and um put it in one of the plastic cases. Those just seem to be more durable in my opinion, but Last Boy Scout. I love this movie. I have not seen it in years. Um Usually every time I run across it, it's in a multi-pack with movies I already own, so it kind of doesn't work for me, but glad to finally have this one. And next one, another sticker, so I'm guessing that's the same seller. Um, I have everything turned around, so address doesn't show. This is actually just meant to be a replacement for an older uh, DVD that I had, which I don't know if it just disappeared or died. I hadn't seen it in forever. Um, I'm going to get a replacement case for this. This thing is just yuck. But, um, a lot of these were just super cheap. I bought them used. Um, some of them were a penny. I think the more expensive ones were three dollars, so definitely why I splurged. But, um, yeah. Um, it's not necessarily an original story, but, um, I still, I still like it. Single white female, another used one. Um, Lazy slob didn't even get the stickers off uh, in either area, so I'll have to remove those myself. But um, 
I love this one. This one is very interesting, and the 90s were a great time for for psychological thrillers, in my opinion. But, but there you go, second Bridget Fonda film. And... Ew, this box is totally yucko. Um, I remember liking this when it was first out. I hadn't seen it in forever, and I got this super cheap. Now I know why. Um, so I'll probably have to learn to not do that anymore, because I get really cruddy cases. Um... The back is just all warped and kind of trashy, but all I really need to do is just take out the little slip, get a better box for it, and not the end of the world. But there you go, playing God. And this is one I didn't pre-open. These things stick so well. I think you guys have seen me fight with these in the past. Okay, so this one is my target pre-order for The Thing. That is pretty. Um, I guess you guys can't really see the detail, but there's kind of like a little um, plastic protector slip that goes over the, um, the uh, steel book. And there's the back. I guess you kind of can't see them, plus I can't stay focused, but bonus features, picture-in-picture, uh, -picture, cast and crew interviews, uh, behind-the-scenes footage. Um, and this is a feature that you can use while watching the movie and feature commentary, so I know um, there were a few people that had asked me about what the special features on this were when I had pre-ordered it, and um, to my knowledge, that information wasn't out at the time, so there you go. And this is actually really, really pretty. I'm glad I pre-ordered this because I totally forgot about it. Well, that last one was an exclusive from Target, and this is an order from Best Buy. I had ordered three items from Best Buy. I don't know if they got them all to fit in this pouch. And actually they did. That's kind of impressive. Give it. Ah, uh, my slip covers are ruined. I hate that. I've got a jacked up slip cover. I hate when they get ruined, but um the guest. I was actually excited to be getting this until I saw the ruined box. I swear, I'm, I'm learning to hate slip covers. They're, they just annoy me so much. Um, but amazing movie. I had um, watched this online with a few friends uh, last month. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I just absolutely fell in love with the movie. I have seen and own your next, and I just recently got around to seeing this one, and it's just absolutely fantastic. So... Having said that, I just went ahead and jumped on getting a copy of It Follows because I figured I love those two so much, I'd probably wind up liking this one, no problem. So I just went ahead and uh, ordered this as well. And another stupid jacked up slipcover. Which I know for some people it's a minor issue, but I don't like owning junk. I'm I'm very particular about things like that. I had also gotten the It Follows soundtrack. I had also wanted the one for the guest. Unfortunately, there's only an option of digital download or vinyl, which really isn't an issue because I do... I recently did get into collecting records, so I'll probably just probably just get both the digital copy and the record and I'll just burn a copy on CD. 
So, unfortunately, I was excited about these before the slip covers got trashed, but still looking forward to watching them anyway, just less enthusiastically. Oh, this one is rattly and loose, yay. Raising Cane. I have not seen this one since I was a kid. We actually owned this on VHS, and um, like I said, the 90s were a great time for psychological thrillers. I loved this one. Um, and of course, this is a Brian De Palma film. A lot of people refer to this as um, his most underrated film. Um, it definitely is fantastic. If you haven't seen it, um, check it out. It's definitely well worth it. And lastly, um, Unlawful Entry. Um, the funny thing is, I have never seen the ending of this movie, even though we owned it as a kid. We actually had, um, you know, just kind of like a bootleg copy where you could record up to three movies on a blank tape. Unfortunately, whoever did the recording didn't get their timing right, so right at the end of the film when, um, who is it? Um, Ray Liotta's character, I think he plays the crazy cop. I haven't seen this in forever. Um, right when he finally makes his way into the house and he's getting all cozy with Madeline Stowe and uh, Kurt Russell, the husband, is on his way to rescue her. Um, the film cuts off, so I have no idea how this ends. <laughs> so I'll finally get to find out after over 10 years. Um, but I also had that issue with um, The Last of the Mohicans for the longest time until I finally bought the movie. Of course, I bought that one new. So, there you have it. In no particular order, my, um, I guess you could say, in the mail pickups. So, definitely pleased with most of these. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about those cruddy Best Buy slip covers. Probably just run by the store and see if I can just exchange in store. Um, but like I've said, I'm... I like slipcovers, they give a nice presentation, but they are really starting to piss me off lately. Um, but that is pretty much it. I will uh, see you guys in the next unboxing.